Hello everyone. Sugar, grain, granulite or even crushed glass. There are just a few examples of materials that can be conveyed using industry hose. And what are the characteristics of this hose? Why plastic and rubber hose at all? And not for example steel hoses? Join me for another episode of our series. Good morning, my name is Michał Mruz and today we are going to focus on material handling holes for bulk materials. Let's start with the question why we are talking about hoses that are not made of steel, although it may seem that these are the most resistant to abrasion. If we take a closer look, we can notice that the kinetic energy of solid particle as hit the rubber surface is converted into the energy of elastic deformation of the surface and almost all the energy is given back to the particle as it bounces away with no damage to the surface. This cannot be said of a surface for example made of steel. This is the reason why elbow steel pipelines are lined with rubber and some steel fittings are mounted on the outside of the hose rather than insert into the hose. I'm going to show you three top popular hoses from our range and one that is unbeatable when it comes to abrasion resistance. No matter if transfer of substance is carried out with compressed air, gravity or pumps, in all cases we deal with solid particles which rub against the heat the walls of the hose and cause the inner layer to wear down, especially where the flow is turbulent or changes direction, for example at the bend of the hose. The wear process takes the form of roughness, pitting or loose of materials. Apart from typical hose abrasion, you should also pay attention to static electricity in the hose. The reason this is so dangerous is that it can lead to clogging of the hose by accumulation of electricity charge substance. In extremely case, the build up of static charges may cause a spark and lead to a fire or even explosion in the case of highly flammable materials. To avoid such problems, we have to use conductive rubber, anti-static rubber and anti-electrostatic copper wires. Ok, so now that we know the basic cause of damage the material handling hoses, it's time to see some hoses that perform perfectly such heavy duty condition. I have prepared four hoses of different construction and application. The first one is a hose made not rubber but of plastic. It is Louisiana PU anti-static. PVC hose reinforced with hard PVC helix with inner polyurethane layer. It is robust suction delivery hose operating with a temperature range of minus 10 to 60 degrees Celsius. Corrugate on the outside, inside smooth. Widely used to plastic processing in application requiring greater resistance to abrasion, puncture on, and cutting particularly recommended for climate plastic with relatively sharp edges. The hose has copper wire embedded along the helix which dissipates electrical charges when grounded or connected to the fittings. Allowable pressure depends on temperature and diameters. For example, at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and diameters of 30 to 100 millimeters, the allowable pressure is from 32 to 72 psi. Another hose is Don Bien Special. A delivery hose complained with FDR requirements. The hose is designed to work at temperatures from minus 30 to 70 degrees Celsius. The inner white layer of the hose is natural and SBR rubber compound, while the outer layer is EPDM rubber. The hose is reinforced with synthetic cord and has two copper wires to dissipate electrical charges. In addition, the outer layer is made of electrically conductive rubber that is water and ozone resistant. The hose is ideal for transferring substances such as grain or sugar. Working pressure of the hose in the whole diameter range, that is from 38 to 110 mm, is 116 psi. Last but not least here is Volga Super Hose. An abrasion resistant suction delivery hose reinforced with both synthetic cord and steel helix. 
As in the case of the hose I have present earlier, the inner layer is made of natural and SBR rubber compound and the outer layer is black EPDM rubber. Temperature range for Volga is from minus 30 to 70 degrees Celsius. Apart from obviously resistance to abrasion, this hose features a wide range of diameters, which is from 51 mm to as much as 254 mm. It's a perfect hose for transferring such a substance as seeds, feet, sand or gravel. And the last example is a delivery hose for the pneumatic transport of dry abrasive substances. It can operate at temperature from minus 30 to 80 degrees Celsius and working pressure of 174 psi in the whole range of diameters. It's allosphere. A ceramic hose, extremely resistant to abrasion. The inner layer consists of ceramic balls embedded in black antistatic natural rubber. The hose is reinforced with synthetic cord and the outer layer is made of SBR and natural rubber. The hose has a copper wire dissipating electrical charges. It is designed to transfer highly abrasive substances such as shot, coal, ceramic powders or even glass splinters. The great advantage of this hose is its long service life. When compared to a traditional abrasion resistance rubber hose that can only operate a few days in heavy duty application, Allosphere can easily withstand several months. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our channel for other videos.